How's it guys, Monash here and today we have Tigra against Abyss of Legends Venom the Duck. Yes, we actually have some Tigra gameplay today which is something I don't think I've ever done on this channel. Surprised it took this long because I do like Tigra and I've always thought she's a good champ. I think it's just because I got the 5 star very late and nowadays I don't use a lot of 5 stars if I don't need to. Then I got the 6 star last month on July 4. Well, it was actually exactly a month ago on the 2nd of July when I did that opening. And I was pretty happy to pull her, I mean I picked her over Magneto Dupe from a Nexus, since Magneto doesn't really need it and you know Tigra's a new champ who doesn't necessarily need the dupe, but it does help make her initial ramp up a bit faster. So you don't have to throw the special 3 or 2 special 1s to get your senses. So right now I'm on the CC beta, I took her up to rank 3 but I didn't awaken her because I want to see how she feels just to play without being awakened. Because my 5 star is either 660 or 80 and I haven't really played with her on dupe so I just want to see what it feels like. And also in this fight, Venom the Dark starts with a lot of buffs, temporary buffs, and I do have high dispersion, level 4, so I was able to get to 3 bars of power pretty quickly. So I don't think the Sig would have made much of a difference in this fight. And I think if I can just get over the need to throw a special 1 or special 3 early in the fight, then I can see myself taking her up on Awakened and using over my 5 star. Okay, so the strategy for this fight... Actually, before I get into that, I gotta make it known that I am far from the best Tigra player. Like, I'm sure there are so many people who are much better at using her than me. And that's probably mainly because I just don't use her a whole lot. And Tigra is just one of those champs who does have quite a high skill cap, arguably the highest in the game. I would say it is the highest hands down if it weren't for heavy only quaking. But practically speaking, it might just be the hardest or the one that takes the most effort to master. Because the thing about Tigra is, it's not like every fight is the same, you know? She's a very heavy reliant or heavy based champ. However, with her, it's more about punishing with the heavy instead of just parry heavying. So you do need to learn timing and spacing or positioning for several different champs. And that's where the difficulty comes in, because not only do you need a bloody PhD worth of knowledge to know all these animations, and there are properties like whether they make contact or their projectiles, but you also need to be quick enough to get yourself in the right position so you can heavy punish successfully. Some champs do have specials that are quite easy to punish consistently, but against the harder champs you might need to do some vigorous spacing like dashing back and then dashing forward in the middle of the animation, then dashing back again and then doing two light attacks to close the distance before you hold the heavy attack to punish. That does take a bit of finger dexterity, at least more than the average champ, so it can get pretty wild. I suppose that's another reason why I haven't used her that much yet. Cause that's effort, I mean, I could do all that. Or I could just doom combo the fights, or just block all the special attacks with Sorcerer and just heal with that sweet regen. Like, there's just easier options usually, that's why I don't really use Tigra a whole lot, you know. But, I am starting to open up to the idea of using her a bit more, especially now that I have a 6 star. I should at least rank 2 her one of these days. Not sure about rank 3 yet because I do have Diablo who I quite like, but he's also unawakened and ideally I would like to have him duped. Then there's also the hood buff coming soon which I might need to wait for cause that's a champ that I really enjoyed when he got buffed previously. And he's got some similar utility to Tigra. Just not as robust in terms of the miss mechanic but he is a lot easier to use. But I gotta say, one thing that really impresses me about Tigra is just how high her practical damage per second is. Especially in those ideal matchups when you can play very aggressively. So I spent a lot of time talking about Tigra without breaking down this fight and now we're over halfway through the video. And the second half of the fight is a bit harder than the first half because now he has warfare charges and the one slight weakness that Tigra has in Abyss, at least against these buff matchups, is that she neutralizes which lowers buff ability accuracy by 100% but when they get warfare charges they get increased ability accuracy so she can't really neutralize anything. Venom the Duck will pretty much have all these buffs for the rest of the fight as long as he's throwing special attacks regularly enough. But she can still handle it, you just gotta base special attacks a bit more. And during the first half of the fight I was trying to make sure he's neutralized before I bait a special attack. Cause specials will activate all the buffs in his bank. And ideally you don't want that because the power gain makes the fight more difficult to manage as you can see in the second half. Not to mention he also gets furies and precisions which make him hit much harder. So if he evades and then combos you, that'll most likely be fatal because you'll be critting a lot. And if you somehow survive those big yellow numbers, you probably won't survive the bleed afterwards. So now we are getting to the part where I actually get hit by one of these big yellow numbers. He just decided to throw a random heavier attack from out of nowhere and I couldn't see it coming until it was too late. It was a very evil and calculated heavy attack that came out with lightning speed like something Mysterio would be proud of. 
And the main thing is it was just so unexpected that I actually thought it was dashing at me so I tried to parry. And I did try to parry slightly early cause you know parry and control issues. But he was very close to me at the time and I just couldn't react quickly enough. So ultimately I ate a 30k heavy because both hits just had to crit with all those precision buffs. I had 64 hits or warfare charges left but that's all she wrote for this fight unfortunately. Ended up doing 28% after using about 2 thirds of my hits. So I think it's fair to say that Tigra can do this fight in 2 revives as a rank 3 without any boosts or suicides or synergies or sig ability. But I'd say doing it in 3 is a bit more realistic cause you know things can happen. You can get a very unlucky evade or take a supersonic heavy attack and get destroyed. So she might not be the best for this fight but at least she's better than Doom. <laughs> This is the one cosmic doom struggles against, I usually recommend Symbiote Supreme or the other big nullifiers like Morningstar or Longshot. Then there's the more high skill counters like Professor X and She-Hulk. And then you get Rogue, the ultimate counter. But I think Tigra is a pretty solid alternative for this fight. And this might also be her toughest cosmic so I want to see how she does against the other ones like Hyperion and Champion. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys found this interesting and as always thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.